everyone, Nicola Russell here, Remembrance Into The Light. I hope you're all well. Um, I want to do a video today um, on the opposite, which I did um, before. <laughs> it's all a mess. Um, it's fine, isn't it? It's fine. Um, on uh, Deja Vu. I did a video on Deja Vu and what those sort of glitches were sort of happening. Sort of check that one out. But there was actually a comment that was on one of the... Um, I didn't write down who it was, I do apologise. Um, but if it was you, about future visions. So the future visions and being. Trajectories, as I like to call it. Trajectories, possibilities, time light adjustments. <laughs> uh, so... Let's have a little look at this and then see what we get channeled through as regards to this because they've been sort of like in mm, my ear. I was going to have a day of rest, but then they said, let's do a video. Let's do a video. I'm going, like, yeah, all right, then let's do a video. So here we are doing a video. Um, beautiful day today. Uh, so yeah, let's get on with it and then I can upload it and then you've got the information for you. That. Okay, so that's you. Hmm. Okay, so there are other videos which are on the white whiteboard um, that sort of talk about time and, and stuff like that. So go check those out as well, as well as all of the other bits. I should really sort of link them in, really. But hey ho. Right, time continuum. So we have time. Okay, so it does sort of go into a little bit of a, a sort of a crossover, but I think it would probably give a little bit more understanding. Okay, that. Okay. So we have timeline trajectories, we have our in moment and our out moment. So it could be this on many, many different scales of being born and dying. It could be um, being becoming pregnant and having the baby. It could be coming in um, and eating something like a big lollipop and then finishing the lollipop. Everything has an in and an out, an experience. So all of our experiences always have an in and an out, which shows us self, shows it as this, which I've sort of showed before. So within this, it's folded up quite nicely. I've done this before where you've got this cycle. Okay, so we have a cycle here. Now, within it, it looks like an apple. It does from here, anyway. <laughs> so, you've got um, an, a cycle of experience, and in and out of the experience, whether it's a long time or moments within that time and space. Okay, so this time continuum is, 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 is elongated out. That's your baki and makia, thorabishan makia, and makia, and naragadishan makia. But this is one option. So it's this option number, um, option number one. And then you would have an option number two, number three, number four, number five, and then sort of ongoing six, and all of these sort of things. So some of them are closer knit together, some of them actually would touch each other on experience, some overlap and then come out. So there are all these ways of possibilities. So these are all possibles. These are all timelines. So we're talking about the future. We're talking about the future of it all. <laughs> got sheep next door, I can hear them. <laughs> Um, so you've got potential timelines, which shows is the um, which is the future. But in amongst all of this, whichever one we actually go in of or on any of these, whether they touch, whether they whether they blend, or whether they move forward on a, a lower frequency or a higher frequency, everything will always be in a time continuum. Okay, a cycle of experience. Now, depending what the experience is to the future visions, to the future understanding and experiences, will depend upon the experience itself and where you're placing your focus. So your timeline trajectory will be on a focal point where you place your focus. You might be here in one moment where you're um, 
midline sort of understanding but you might touch up to here along the time of the experience and then moving up to the highest timeline have an emotional state and drop down to here so you may sort of create this sort of sense of a graph as you're sort of moving through all time and space that you're experiencing this timeline touching on this one moving down and then jumping up so you're jumping up to this one and then you're petering down to here so so the so the experience will always be fluctuating. The timeline at the end here could be, um, okay, possibilities. What possibilities could it be? Possibilities, I'm going to go and make myself a cake. <laughs> a cake. You could have a, a coffee cake. You could have a chocolate cake. You could have a vanilla. Vanilla. You could have um, a fruity cake. So you've got all of these possibilities, all of these possibilities of an experience. Let's go make a cake. But you've got all of these different ingredients that are coming in, all these different probabilities that are coming along with your timeline. <clears throat> so if you actually then visioned in your mind, oh, I'm going to make a chocolate cake. And then... You go along, um, but what happens is, is that you haven't got the ingredients for a chocolate cake. You haven't got the possibilities that have come in, the experience to come in, that have shifted you into actually, oh, I've got a load of fruit here, I'm going to stick the fruit in instead. So what happens with the, with the cycle, with the future trajectories, is there are all these possibilities, I'm not just talking about cake here, there are all these possibilities that along your timeline trajectory, you may actually find yourself moving from actually not doing chocolate, but then going into fruit. Not a rubber of chocolate. So it, it just depends really on where you're focusing, where you're at, depends where your future is. I hope this is making sense. I'm not just talking about, this is an analogy, okay. They're just telling me off I should have brushed my hair. Um, yeah, I got up late in my day. See, timeline trajectory. Did, should I have got up earlier? Should I have got up later? Where would I place that in my focus? Do I get up at 9 o'clock? Do I get up at 12? Do I get up at 3 o'clock in the afternoon? It's up to me. I make the choices, so we have free will. I make the choice whether I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the morning. I didn't say 6 o'clock last time because it probably wouldn't have been 6 o'clock for me. 6 o'clock in the night, <laughs> 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I make the choice. I make the choice, actually, do I make a coffee, a chocolate, a vanilla or a fruit? These are a little bit more sort of like circumstances. Do I have that in the cupboard? But ultimately, I could go to the shop and then go and get some chocolate, um whatever to, to make the chocolate I have free will to go and make those choices so we all have choices which is our free will but then at the same time we also need to experience so the trajectory is actually coming on from different angles the human you right, Louise she's been running around the garden so a human has a choice of what it wants to experience to a degree, but higher self sitting up here, high and mighty old higher self and multidimensionality wants to also give the human a cycle of experience. And these are usually sort of emotional states. So the higher self will then pull up, there will be an exchange, a subconscious, a subconscious understanding that something, oh gosh, a subconscious understanding that the higher self will come in with a sense of free will, but from this sense of free will. So the free will comes in 
at an overriding overriding your free will the higher self brings you the understanding at a soul level of understanding of what's going on with your timeline to directory because it is steering you into where is best for you to go to so if you want to go and go somewhere and then think oh this is what i'm going to do but the high says no you're not no you're not you're not like louise so louise is out there shouting her mouth off and i'll go like no you're not no you're not louise come in same thing high self high self says no you're not no you're not this is what you're doing because the human has a, a an under running under running program here cycles but the higher self wants to get you up here so it will give you the opportunity to up level as a result of actually taking away the free will and say do you know what actually you're not making any cakes at all today no cakes you're putting on a bit of weight around your, your bottom no no more cakes you're going to go out and you're going to go out for a walk instead so you're not going to go and stay in and make a cake there's no ingredients the shops shops are shut you've not got any pennies in your purse so therefore let's bring in something completely different and then it then brings up your vibration into a higher frequency um, as you start to grow that you're not going to go and do that you're going to do this instead sometimes the higher self will actually throw things at you as little lessons <laughs> because what throw <laughs> throw it at you throw an egg at you and then you're like oh and then you're in this emotional state when you're in the emotional state this is where you can then actually learn and grow into the spiraling system which i've spoken about before which is more of this rather than just cycle 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 you move out there is an opportunity of change you move out and you start to cycle out you up level the human you up level the human because the higher self is guiding you through the experience not a learn mindset free we will choice of what you want to do it will guide you into the highest possibilities less conscious mind subconscious mind leaves you in this human experience of cycling 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 as you connect to higher self multidimensionality it will give you the higher probabilities future visions higher perspectives higher probabilities that you will then experience and grow as a result of connection and conscious so you become more conscious of the fact that you're being guided by the higher self, not just sitting in a human choice of free will. You're moving into the probabilities of free will from a higher perspective of understanding because you want to ascend up to connection into ultimately oneness. so your future trajectories your visions your beingness it may come from two perspectives or even more but let's just keep it at two human mind subconscious what do i want and also higher perspective higher self free will opportunities of trajectories of future now moments okay done so if there's anything else I want to say, that's your macchia da ma boy sharp e bella che non ma. Si ho bene macchio bella che non macchietta e la che non macchietta na da che si ne chietta. Sometimes the higher self will let you just play the game as human. <coughs> like get up twelve o'clock, don't wash your hair, have a lazy day. Human says, yeah, like that that's what I'm going to do today something then comes in somebody else comes in moves you out of a trajectory and then actually then influences from other oneness experiences so my son might come along so here comes William I decide today I want a lazy day getting up late didn't wash my hair <laughs> do a video for you guys William comes in 
oh, all things change. So not only do we have the free will and choices from the human, what happens is also is that your son comes along called William. He comes in and goes, what are we going to do then, Mum? And I go, like, OK, let's go out for lunch. Now I'm sitting here thinking, I should have washed my hair. So, <laughs> so it's a difference. There. Again, so that's what they're saying. You should have washed your hair, Nicola. Should have washed your hair. Okay, so I'll go and wash my hair before William comes round. Again, it chooses, it ch changes my future trajectory. It changes my day, my whole day. So my free will of sitting outside just looking at, at the sheep all day long because I'm having a rest day has now suddenly changed into washing my hair, get myself ready and going out for lunch and, and, and little old William comes over, stays over for the night. So, um... What I'm saying here is that we can have our timeline trajectories. We can have our own human experience and choices. We have the emotional states that are involved. We have the possibilities within the timeline trajectories along that time continuum. But we also have the conscious layer of understanding with the higher self and multidimensionality that overrides the free will into conscious co-creation of oneness. But then actually at the same time, side by side, then we have other people running in that bump in and change trajectories as well. So our future actually cannot be totally predicted. There are timelines and trajectories that we can tap into when we're in that now moment where we're focused or where we're at. So here, yes, we're actually going to be making a fruit one. Here, if we stayed along this one, we'd be going into coffee. Here, if we stayed in this trajectory, we'd be making chocolate. And then this one here, which is a really lovely one, which is really very nice, William comes in. So I don't make a cake at all, but I go out and I actually buy a cake at the restaurant. <laughs> so, now, si ora bene macchia dolla macchia dan da grazia na macchia. See how complicated and things can be when we forward project something in beingness. We have an understanding that there will be something that potentially will happen. We have a feeling, but these things are more solid. These things are more set in stone. These little things about cake making and people coming to visit will be these little sort of interim sort of experiences that just come in, these little finer threads. But along the way, you will have absolute things that you will have an in. You will have and out. You will have something happen here along the timeline and here and here. So there will be things that will jut you from one to another that buffer you from this to that. But actually, if you were supposed to make a cake at the end of it or have a piece of the cake at the end of it, you might have made the cake or you might go out for lunch and have cake. So if that actually that this end result of experience is cake, you will experience it regardless whatever happens in between. Cake will be eaten regardless if you make it or not to whatever varying in, um, um, ingredients that will be, whether you buy it, whether you make it, whether you go out for lunch and have cake. It will always be that you will always have cake. So your future, you can tap into your absolutes, your absolutes that you're going to have cake, you're going to move somewhere, you're going to meet somebody, is in your future. It is a timeline trajectory that is definitely going to happen in between all of these moments, our possibilities and trajectories. Boom. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. Check out all my details below. I've got loads of stuff from Star Seed You. Um, and check out my Patreon. Um, I'm probably going to be doing another little thing for Patreon on with this. Um, um, so um, check out that as well. So it's um, um, there's certain tiers on there and we can sort of get together and gather and ask questions. And um, you've got a little bit more contact with me. Um, also, I'm here for healing one-to-ones um, and group work um, and things like that. So it's all good. It's all good. Hope that sort of helps you understand timeline trajectories and that, you know, possibilities and absolutes. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Okay, good. Well, I'm going to go and wash my hair. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.